Today's uh, episode is going to be about how to develop good speaking skills. So let's get started. So I think developing good speaking skills takes time and some effort on your part. We don't become great speakers uh, suddenly. And we are not born with great speaking skills. And myself, I am constantly honing my speaking skills. And I think this is a skill that can be perfected uh, all the time. And you can try to get better uh, at speaking really for the rest of your life. But to provide you with a quick solution just for this episode, I wanted to share with you my experience with joining a local Toastmasters. Toastmasters is an organization that has been around for ages. It's uh, not expensive at all. You join the membership uh, for six months. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's about $150 per six months. So it's really not expensive at all. And you get uh, tons of resources for developing different speaking paths, whether you want to be a great public speaker or a great presenter or great at different kinds of categories that interest you in terms of speaking uh, on stage or publicly or even being a good leader, a good manager. If you're doing presentations in the office, Maybe you could take a path that teaches you how to present well in front of people that you work with. So Toastmasters can be used for developing great speaking skills in the workplace, as well as in your business and even in your personal life. Most people that join Toastmasters, they have some kind of a goal that they would like to establish. Uh, Some of them are already public speakers and they want to hone their uh, skills. Some of them have a big fear of public speaking and they join Toastmasters to get over uh, that fear. Some of them have been told by their uh, managers or bosses that uh, this is something that they will be using in the workplace. So the reasons vary. You really do not have to have uh, any type of reason to join. You can just uh, have a willingness to uh, speak better and be a better speaker and be a better presenter. Especially when we speak in front of other people live, not on Zoom calls, but live in front of an audience, it's a completely different ball games. Because when you are on YouTube or on Zoom or on video, a lot of times you could streamline your visibility, you can uh, shut yourself off, uh, there's only maybe a portion of you that's being seen, like up to here. And you know, YouTube videos, of course, you can edit them as much as you want. You can edit them forever, actually, <laughs> which I do not recommend. So, uh, I mean, this is something that can be very much controlled. But when you go out on a stage or in front of a room full of uh, board members or a conference room, there is no chance for you to be edited anymore. This is it. In my opinion, in order for you to be a great speaker, just like with everything else, you have to speak. In order for you to be a better cook, you have to cook. In order for you to be a better driver, you have to drive. Like anything in life, in order to get better at anything, you have to practice. So with uh, Toastmasters, you really get a great opportunity not only to practice your speeches, but practice your listening skills, which they enable in their uh, sessions, and practice a collaboration with other people on on the meeting. In the meeting, I was going to say on the Zoom call because because of COVID, a lot of Zoom, a lot of Toastmasters meetings were on Zoom. Now they are slowly switching to in-person meetings and they allow for you to learn how to take different roles and how to take some leadership roles and get involved and be part of a team as well. 
So there's a lot of lots of benefits to joining Toastmasters. And also, if you want to get better at speaking, aside from being Toastmasters, the best way to the second best way to do it is to record yourself on your phone or on your computer, present your speech. Perhaps you're getting ready for your Toastmaster speech. Record yourself and then watch yourself. This way, you can really see where you need to improve. You can really see where you need to pick up your skills at speaking. A lot of times when we speak to other people or in public, we can't hear ourselves. We are so much wrapped up about what we're going to say next that we just don't know what we sound like and what we look like. But when you record yourself and then you watch yourself, yes, maybe the first couple of times you will cringe and you will be very critical of yourself as most people are. But this is a necessary step in order for you to get better. Like I told you before, nobody is a great, awesome speaker when they're born. It just doesn't happen. People that you watch on TV in different public settings that are speaking so easily and eloquently and look like they uh, just are having a ball, they have practiced for years to get to that point. So if they can do it, you can do it as well. I can do it. I'm not saying I'm a great speaker at all. I do my best. I learn how to improve every single day. And certainly being part of the Toastmasters group really is helping me. There's so much to learn, but how are you going to learn if you don't do it? And another way uh, the third way for you to get uh, better at speaking is read books. Because when you read your English uh, or whatever other language that you are reading in improves, you are learning new vocabulary. You can learn new different words. You learn proper grammar, proper uh, eloquence of uh, the language and you get more creative in terms of how you can express yourself while you're reading you can also pick up books about speaking and how to be a better speaker but the books are really just a backup and a supplement because if you're just reading the books and you're not practicing obviously you're not going to improve the best way to really is that combination is to Join Toastmasters, learn how to speak in front of other people, record your speeches so you can see yourself, how you look kind of like in a mirror, and then use the books and other um, material that you can maybe enhance your public speaking and your language. And the last tip I wanted to give you in terms of speaking and being a public speaker that I know is really uh, important is to be yourself. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and don't be afraid to be real. Uh, public speakers that are the most popular speakers out there are the people that are true to themselves. You can see their personality shine. Their sense of humor come, comes out when they're speaking and you get to really hear and see what they are as a person. And that is so important, even though you want to gain a great structure and all the skills that you can gain in terms of being a better public speaker, you must not forget to be yourself and make sure that whatever you do, your own personality and who you are shines through all the skills and techniques that you have learned. Nobody wants to listen to a robot and nobody wants to listen to a news anchor. If they want to listen to a news anchor, they're going to turn on the news. What you want to do is you want to be your own very unique self and use the tools of the trade in order to be professional and eloquent and captivating as a speaker. But you also want to make sure that you don't forget to be who you are. 
And that's it for today in terms of communication skills. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment below and share this episode with your friends. See you on my next video. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.